get ready to take a trip back in time with Married. With children, a TV show that's full of laughs, surprises, and a few sad moments too. Ever thought about when you first watched this famous show? Or why it stayed popular for so long? Well, stick around because we've got lots of funny, surprising, and sometimes sad facts coming your way in this video. We want to hear from you. What's your favorite memory or personal story about this beloved series? Share your thoughts and experiences with us in the comments below. Keep watching for more interesting insights and unforgettable moments from Married with Children. A TV series from 1987 called Married with Children left a big impression on popular culture. When it first came out, it caused a lot of talk. Some people liked how it showed a messed up family, while others didn't like its boldness and humor. But even with mixed reviews, the show quickly found a lot of fans. People liked watching the Bundy family, especially Al and Peg Bundy, and found humor in their everyday struggles. The show made fun of suburban American life in a way that many people connected with, making it really popular at the time. Married. With children didn't just stay on TV screens. It inspired other shows like Top of the Heap and Vinny and Bobby, and led the way for more sitcoms that pushed boundaries in humor and storytelling. Plus, there was a ton of merchandise you could buy, from t-shirts to action figures, because fans loved it so much. Even now, Married. With children is still talked about in popular culture. People still mention its characters and catchphrases in all sorts of media. Its influence on other sitcoms and its popularity among fans show how important it was. In short, Married. With children had a big impact on popular culture with its bold humor and portrayal of the Bundy family. Its influence is still felt today with spin-offs, merchandise, and its continued presence in cultural conversations. The show wrapped up on May 6, 1997, after which Fox debated its fate. They decided to cancel it without informing the cast. Ed O'Neill, vacationing at the time, learned about it from strangers who had read it in the newspaper. He treated them to a meal to show his gratitude. Christina Applegate also found out from friends, Steve's middle name is Bartholomew, his mentor, Ernest Borgnine, passed away on July 8, 2012, at 95. Conway had worked with Borgnine on SpongeBob SquarePants for 13 years, voicing Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Married. With Children, which debuted in 1987, featured several notable aspects. Al Bundy, the main character, favored Duke of Earl by Gene Chandler, and also liked Arthur Alexander's Anna. The acronym NOMADAM stood for National Organization of Men Against Amazonian Masterhood. Katie Seagull, who played Peg Bundy, experienced ongoing issues with Buck the dog attempting to hump her leg both on and off the set. The producers considered letting Buck go if his owner and handler couldn't control him, potentially removing a family pet from the show. Roseanne Barr decided not to play Peg Bundy and married with children because she wanted to bring her own style of comedy to the role, which was influenced by her work on Roseanne. This decision showed her commitment to her artistic vision and gave a different spin to the character. Al Bundy's job at the shoe store was in a busy mall, adding a realistic touch to the show's setting. Christina Applegate, who played Peg's daughter, recently talked about her struggle with multiple sclerosis. She shared how it affects her daily life, including dealing with weight gain, and needing a cane to move around. Her honesty about her health challenges reminds us that even in Hollywood, people face tough times behind the scenes. In summary, the decisions made by the actors and their personal stories add depth to Married, with children's impact. Each actor's contributions, both on and off screen, have left a lasting impression on television history, enriching the stories that entertain us all. Married with Children, a sitcom that aired from 1987, holds some interesting facts. The lead actor Ed O'Neill became engaged to Martin Lenoble in 2010 after a beach proposal. The iconic house shown in each episode is located in Deerfield, Illinois. Al Bundy, the protagonist, toils at Gary's shoes and accessories for today's woman, only to later realize that Gary is actually a woman. These details add depth to the series' legacy, offering insights into its production and setting. After the popular TV series ended in 1997, Applegate faced an important moment in her career. Despite her success as Peg Bundy, she had to decide whether to take the famous role of Elle Woods in Legally Blonde. She was worried about getting stuck in similar roles if she accepted it. In the end, she decided not to take the part, allowing Reese Witherspoon to play Elle Woods, earning praise and a Golden Globe nomination. 
Even though she turned it down, Applegate publicly complimented Witherspoon's performance, showing her kindness and fairness in the industry. While playing Peg Bundy, Applegate became known for her character's red wig. Al's character in the show found comfort in the made-up Western series Psycho Dad, which was a recurring theme. This added complexity to Al's character and gave viewers a glimpse into his unique personality and interests. Looking back on her time as Peg Bundy, Applegate had a significant role in the show's success. Her commitment to the character and her skill in bringing Peg to life made her beloved by audiences worldwide. Despite worrying about being stuck in similar roles, her portrayal of Peg Bundy shows her flexibility as an actress and her lasting impact on television history. Mary with Children, a sitcom that aired from 1987, encountered several noteworthy occurrences during its run. In one instance, Divine was slated to appear as Uncle Otto in the second season finale, but he passed away the night before filming his scenes. The episode was dedicated to his memory. Additionally, to sidestep copyright issues, the show employed sound-alike songs of popular tunes in a few episodes. Another intriguing detail lies in Bud's full name, which is Budrick Franklin Bundy. These elements contribute to the unique charm of the series. In an episode, Kelly reveals the Bundy's phone number as 555 2878. The character Marcy D'Arcy's name is a nod to Marcy Carcy, the executive producer of The Cosby Show. The show was initially titled Not the Cosby's. Co creator Michael Moy disclosed in an interview that the character Seven was a network decision reluctantly accepted by the creators. However, as writers struggled to integrate him into the show, the character mysteriously disappeared. He later appeared on a Have You Seen Me? Milk Carton. Sure, here's a paraphrased version, the show married. With Children was a big deal when it started in 1987 on Fox. It was on at 7 dozen p.m. Eastern Daylight Time with reruns later at night. The Bundy House, where a lot of the action happened, had a funny thing about its door from far away. It looked white, but up close, it was red. The main character, Al Bundy, had a job at a shoe store. The set where he worked was actually from another show called One Day at a Time, but they changed it up. Sometimes in the background of that show, you could see a sign for the New Market Mall outside the windows of a travel agency. Married, with children became really popular because it was so different. People liked its bold jokes and how it showed family life in a new way. Even though some people didn't like it at first, it stuck around for 11 seasons and left a big impact on TV history. Married, with children debuted in 1987, featuring David Faustino as one of its main characters. Faustino's character, Grandmaster B, parodied his real-life pursuit of a rap career. The show's iconic theme song, Love and Marriage, originally sung by Frank Sinatra, also found its way into Bollywood. The Hindi song Pyar or Shaddy from the film Shabhash, Daddy sampled Sinatra's classic tune, which later became the theme for Married. With children. Within the show, Al's friend Bob Rooney is consistently addressed by his full name, emphasizing his unique character trait. Even his wife adheres to this convention, calling out his full name during intimate moments. These nuances added depth to the characters and humor of the series, contributing to its lasting appeal.